Now I'm joined by Longford Town Manager Neil Fenn. Neil, our unbeaten win comes to an end tonight, our unbeaten run comes to an end tonight. A 1-0 loss to Cabo. What are your thoughts on the overall performance of the team? Um, not good enough. First, first 20 minutes especially, we, we just kept losing the ball and um, they kept counter-attacking us and, and they were a major threat going forward because of that. Um, in, uh, after about 25 minutes we, kind of, we finally got a little bit of a handle on it and, and kept the ball a little bit created a couple of half chances and looked and look better come out in the second half and I felt that we you know we, we looked okay um, created a few chances we just didn't have enough quality in the final third not enough not enough guile not enough um, composure I didn't test the keeper enough and ultimately paid the price by it um, the one bit of quality probably in the in in the final third in the whole game and it was a, it was a goal. Had one of them chances gone in, you know, it could, could have been a different game for Longford. We we'd nearly chance in the first half and Cabo had a few half chances as well. But we've said before games against Cabo, they're just one of these teams that make it hard for us. What is it about them that we just can't seem to deal with? Oh, they're a good team, you know. They're hard working. They're, they don't make it easy. They defend well. And you know, most of their games this season, apart from their first game this season, I think has been decided by the odd goal. So. It was always going to be tight. It was always going to be difficult, and you're just hoping that you know you get the first goal, and and, and then they have to come out a little bit, and you get the second goal. But that wasn't the case. Um, we, we just didn't have enough quality. We didn't get enough shots away. But not enough quality crosses. Didn't get the end of any set pieces, um, and didn't look like we were ever going to score. If I put my hand on my heart, we didn't. And um, you know they broke away on us and, and scored a good goal. We look at things in the long run, you know, as I said, it's, it's our first loss of the season out of 11 games now, you know, we've still only conceded three times and that was twice against Cabo now. In the long run, you know, we're not going to panic, we're still, we're in second place now, two points behind Cabo, with a game in hand against Galway, who we're playing next week. Yeah, it's, it's certainly not panic stations, you know, we, we know that other teams are going to lose around us and we're going to lose again, but we just need to dust ourselves back off, make sure we react um, in, the right, in the right way, make sure we learn from our mistakes today and be a little bit more clinical if there's one thing that you could probably say about us this season is is the lack of goals um, and sometimes we're trying to walk the ball in the net instead of instead of striking it as you said there you know we're, we're trying to walk it in there was a few chances where we could have taken the shot but instead we chose a pass and you know Dean Bourne had a few shots as well that were blocked down I think it, it just didn't go our way tonight would you say luck wasn't on our side I'd say luck was on our side in the first half because they should have probably been one or two up on us. So, no, you, I, I don't look at luck. I just think that it, at the end of the day, in a tight game like this against the top the top two, it's always going to be decided by a little bit of quality. And they produced it and we didn't. As I said, we're heading to Galway next week. You know, you've had a bit of luck yourself down there with Galway any time you've managed Longford against them. But Galway have come into form recently and, you know, with this loss tonight, it'll be tough going to Galway next week. Yeah, I mean, it was going to be tough anyway, whether we won or lost. It's, it's a tough place to go. We know that they're a good team. Again, there's no easy games in this league. And unless you're up for it, unless you're all playing at 100%, it'll be difficult. But having said that, you know, we're, apart from tonight, we've done well so far this season. And, um, you know, we'll be going there the same way, trying to win the game and, and, and confident that we can get a result. Just moving away for the first team, lastly, you know, Longford, they held four games in the UEFA Under-17 European Championships this week. Those four games in a short amount of time, and then a game last night, and then a game tonight. Looking at the pitch, you know, you wouldn't think there was four games played on it, and, and it makes it a lot easier for the likes of ourselves and even the visitors' cab out to play a bit of football. Yeah, I mean, the pitch is fantastic when you compare it to to other pitches in the league. You know, it's it's, it's up there, but it, you know, it's testament to everyone around the club that the club's going in the right direction. Um, the facilities here are fantastic. It was chosen to host one of the Euro games, so four of the Euro games. So you know, it's, it's, it's testament to everyone, the ground staff, and all the everyone who works for Longford.